Section 3.3 Review Notes Remember, to solve an equation with variables on both sides, the goal is to get the variable on one side and the constant on the other. You will then use inverse operations to solve. Remember to follow these steps to solve equations with variables on both sides. First, you need to distribute if there are parentheses. Then, you combine like terms that are on the same side. Remember that the equal sign is a wall. You are only looking at the left side if there are like terms, and then the right side if there are like terms. You're not looking at both sides. Step three, use inverse operations to get your variable to one side. Four, use inverse operations to get your constant to one side. And five, solve your remaining equation using our rules from chapter two. Here are some examples. Solve each equation. Number one, negative 6x minus 4 equals 4x plus 76. There are no parentheses, so we do not need to distribute, and we do not need to combine like terms because there are no like terms on either side of the equal sign. The first step we need to do in this problem is to get the variable on one side. So we want to get the positive 4x away from the right side. So we will subtract 4x. That cancels out the 4x and leaves us with a negative 6x and a negative 4x, so they're same signs, and you add and keep. Bring down the rest, minus 4 equals 76. Now we need to get the constant on the other side, so we're getting rid of the minus 4 by adding 4 to both sides. That leaves us with a negative 10x equals, and then we have a positive 76 and a positive 4. They're the same sign, so we add and keep. It will be a positive 80. Now we need to get rid of the negative 10 that's with the x. It's being multiplied, so the inverse operation is to divide by a negative 10. That leaves us with x equals a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 80 divided by 10 is 8. Your answer is x equals negative 8. Number 2, negative 5 times the quantity of 2p plus 3 equals negative 3p plus 13. You do have parentheses, so you do need to distribute. On the left-hand side, I'll do circle square and circle square. We will be sharing the negative 5, so that will go into the circles. Bring down the 2p and the positive 3. Negative 5 times 2p is negative 10p, and negative 5 times a positive 3 is negative 15. Bring down the rest of the equation equals negative 3p plus 13. Now we need to get the variable on one side, so we're going to get rid of the minus 3p by adding 3p. Then we have a negative 10p and a positive 3p. They're different signs, so we'll subtract. 10 minus 3 is 7p, and 10 was bigger, so we keep the negative sign. Bring down everything else. You have a negative 15 equals and a positive 13. Now it's time to get rid of the constant, the negative 15, by adding 15. That cancels out the minus 15 and leaves us with negative 7p equals, then you have a positive 13 and a positive 15, so you add and keep, and it'll be a positive 28. Now you need to get rid of the minus 7 or negative 7 that is multiplied by the p by dividing by negative 7. That cancels out the negative 7 and leaves you with p equals a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 28 divided by 7 is 4. Your answer is p equals negative 4. Number 3, 3x minus 7 equals 8 plus 6 times the quantity of x plus 2. You do have parentheses, so you will need to distribute. You can do circle square, circle square, and you will be sharing a positive 6. Then bring down your x and your positive 2. Positive 6 times a positive x is a 6x, and positive 6 times positive 2 is a positive 12. Bring down everything else, including the 8 that was in front of that, and you have 3x minus 7 equals. On the left-hand side, you have a term that has 
a variable, the x, and then a constant. You can't combine everything, anything there, but on the right-hand side, you do have an eight and a positive 12 that are constants that can be combined. So I'll bring down everything else, three x minus seven equals, and we wanna keep our variable first, so it'll be six x. Now we combine the positive eight and the positive 12 and get a positive 20. Now we wanna get the variable on the left, so we have a positive six x, we are gonna subtract six x from both sides. A positive three x minus six x are different signs, so we subtract six minus three is three x, and six was bigger, so we keep the negative. Then we bring down the minus seven equals the positive 20. Now we need to get the constant over on the right. We have a minus seven, so we're going to add seven to both sides. That leaves us with a negative three x equals 20 plus seven is 27. I rewrote it here so we can work on it now since it was too crowded at the bottom. So now we're getting rid of a negative three that is multiplied times x, so we're gonna divide by a negative three. That's going to cancel out the negative three and leave us with x equals. A positive divided by a negative is a negative and 27 divided by three is nine. Your answer is x equals negative nine.